prepare for this. I have a problem. Today is the 20th and my midterm is on the 30th. It gives me 10 days to become a master at continuous time signals and systems. How is that gonna happen? I was hoping you'd have the answer, because I don't know. <laughs> Unfortunately, the midterm really screwed me over. It's okay though, because now I have a lot of confidence that I'm gonna pass with a really good grade. here for around like seven hours crocheting and listening to this stupid audiobook i have things to do i have an assignment due tomorrow but i have four hours and 15 minutes left of this book and i cannot stop i don't want to stop and then as soon as this book ends there's a second one and then there's a third one this is why i stopped reading once i left high school because you know what when I was a kid, instead of watching TV, playing on the computer, playing outside, and whatever else kids normally do, I was sitting on my bed reading a book. I spent my days reading. I went through novels like there is no tomorrow. Anyways, you get the point. I have a problem. How do you exert self-control when it comes to reading a novel? I'm asking you, please, if you have any advice, any solution, if you've had the same problem and managed to fix it without having to banish reading from your life, please share because I am enjoying books, but I have things to do. I cannot let it consume my entire life. feel about this exam. I finished all the practice that we were given on top of everything that's in the textbook. The thing is I can solve the problems really quickly which should be a good thing because it means I have time to finish my exam but the solution to the problems are so simple that I have a feeling that I'm gonna start overthinking and potentially do really bad purely because of anxiety. I've also read a little bit of information about the type of exams that this professor likes to give and apparently he's been known to give exams filled with MCQs for ELEC. So yeah, I don't know what to expect. I'm gonna stop reviewing, I'm gonna go to bed. It's almost 12 and I could spend more time on this, but I feel like the more I do, the more I'm gonna get in my head.
feeling good, but I don't feel so good anymore. I saw a previous midterm and it was terrifying. But um, wish me good luck once again. <laughs> I got wrecked. My only saving grace is that everybody in my class got wrecked, which means we're gonna get curved. Uh. Now that the midterm's done, it's time to move on to assignments, which I really don't wanna do, especially now that I know that my prof likes to build exams around everything that we have not covered in our assignments. I don't even know I'm like, if you think about it, how do you prepare for this? Like usually you can kind of get an idea of what to expect for an exam depending on what is asked of you in assignments. But when I tell you that this exam felt like it was being ran over by a truck, I actually mean it. I, nothing could have prepared me for this. The prof said nothing. The prof said nothing. And he only asked questions on things that we did not cover in the assignments and the homeworks. And mind you, he has mentioned that those problems are the best way to prepare for the exams. So like, I don't know how this is gonna go, but apparently he's very generous with the curve. So fingers crossed. But anyways, let's do our assignment. <laughs> 